ladies and a few boys. Um, today I really am looking in masks and I have done a lot of masks recently but I get back from the summer and I think to myself I need a sort of you know on one hand the, the sun gives me wonderful feelings but I get back and I feel my skin is tired dehydrated and maybe it's a contrast between being on holiday and coming back in but today we are testing I am testing many things but I've got a few helpers so we have in the room in the bathroom today come on in we've got okay. Federica and she's testing and then we got Chloe and she's testing Hi. and then we got Fleur and she's testing so we just thought because you all have different skin types that we would try out different ones we're trying out all one brand today with Skin Republic but we might repeat this with brands and just do different ones that we think could be interesting and see do they work so I'm gonna start with you Federica because you've yes. got to go all yes. right so girls right. you can stand back brilliant yes. okay stand back. So let's just talk your let's issue. Speak. Federica, she's gorgeous, Federica. I mean, some of you have seen her before, but Federica, you have wonderful skin. Yes. Well, I mean, I don't have big issues with my skin. But, but I work you hard, don't you? I don't I? Yes. You're feeling tired under <laughs> the eyes. I said to Federica, which one are you going to try? And she said, oh, I don't know. Because the thing is, I kept looking at said collagen boosting, fill in fine lines. I'm thinking, she's a babe. She doesn't need that shit. But tired eyes. Tired eyes, yeah. yes. And sensitive eyes and just bags and dark well you don't have bags but I think that sort of That's slight good. thing we can get at any age which is a bit of dryness a bit yep. of darkness so you've had this on so this one yes. was brightening eye mask yes. it's have great. you used both of them because there's something no, still inside there's three of them oh there's three so, so it came with three, it, yeah, three which is good these are all about five pounds so they're different mm -hmm. from the other masks I've been trying and I like the way that these were working for everyone so and I think the way they say to use it is if you use it two or three times per week yeah you will see results in over a month let's say so okay. use this yeah one and yeah. then you see results it's marketing bullshit probably it really no, sorry because you know what you know you're not, you're not no, sorry probably. but you know i think it's i think actually let me take the back that was a bit mm -hmm. that's a bit offensive wasn't it but nothing that you get which isn't um prescription and you know this because yes. federica's mother is a pharmacist in italy yes. that you know for something to fundamentally long-term change your skin it's got to be a prescription but short term and a bit medium term if we're pushing it so what they're saying is look after your skin yes exactly and do and, it often yeah and do it often yeah, and buy it from us often. and buy it from us yeah. because we're the best but there's three that's quite good and it was do we think it was a fiver chloe do you know how much it was this one were they all a fiver yeah okay between four eighty and okay take it off let's see take it off and see. Oh. okay so pat it in pat it in it's quite nice. When you put it on, it's really nice. Can you I can just, feel it tingling. Yeah, can I just say, when I put it on you, mm -hmm. I have to say it's pretty good for me. Mm -hmm. Because when I put it on you, I did feel, you know, I was looking at her really quickly and I put my glasses on. And I thought, okay, you can do the other eye. But it's looking pert and that dryness has gone. It's gone, yes. And the dryness, you know, if, you're, if your skin under your eyes is a little bit dry, is the pain going to fall? No, it's no. okay. Then um, that's how greyness can look even more exaggerated, and I think that's gone. Yeah, I really yeah. like it. I love it. It felt good, and it didn't sting my skin. Okay, go like this, because sometimes when you do that, sometimes a product in a mask makes it look dry, but it doesn't. No. Great. We're going to give that. What should we give it out of ten? We we'll give it a seven. A seven out of ten. We only tried it once. We only tried it but once. Exactly. That's like very good. One. She's so measured, Federica. Oh, so measured. Fantastic, darling. Thank see you, you so much. I'll see Thank you tomorrow. You. Bye -bye. Okay, all right. Now we're going to do Chloe. Oh, uh, uh, Chloe, hold on. We're going to do, we'll do Fleur. We'll do Fleur first. Come on in. So, Fleur. Hello, darling. Hello. Now, Fleur has joined us quite recently, but Fleur, you have got quite a difficult, not easy skin, have mm -hmm. you? So tell me, you've got the mixture so got, of things. Yes, I've got eczema. Dry yeah. skin, it yeah. also gets oily and yeah. prone to breakouts. Okay, so it's that really tricky combination of, of dryness and yet oily. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people say combination and then they think of T-zone. But when you have rosacea or eczema, you can have these two things sitting in conflict with each other. So, you put on... Bubble purifying charcoal mask. And you put it on first, it was black. I mean, you're not always that kind of combination. Because no, no, no. it's foamy. So, so what foamy. did you do after? So I just rubbed it on my skin to kind of activate the charcoal okay. to make it foam. Yeah. It's bubbling on top and underneath and it's giving a really nice tingly sensation. But not over no, of your not skin. So it's kind of just like the bubbles popping more okay. than tingling. All right, fine. So should we? are you ready to see it? I'm ready for the results. Okay, let's take coffee down. Okay, so what we're going to do, rub it gently sort of... In fact, because it's a combination, I'm going to tell you to pat a little bit. Just pat it a little bit because there's a bit of the foam stuff. 
I think it's going to tell you that it just soaks in. Is it wanting you, it's wanting you to rinse it off with water because you are a combination skin girl. So I'm just going to do some warm water on a flannel. Can I tell you, it's so weird wearing these gloves. I feel like I'm a doctor, actually. I've got many masks on, which I'm going to go into, but I really feel like I'm a doctor. Okay. Pat, pat. Not so right, gently pat. patting. I mean, she, you, do you treat your skin very well? Because I go, Ugh. and you're like, Maybe I should be more vigorous, but then it gets very red. Yes, I know, and that's why. Right. Just up here, darling, a bit. Okay. I've got to say, because I know your skin, and I know that you use... Um, quite a lot of foundation, mm -hmm. you know, just to kind of feel good about you. I'm going to get you a warm towel. I mean, a towel, darling, just to take off damps. But looking in the mirror, yeah. what are you thinking? Go on, look at the Feels mirror. refreshed. Yeah. Feels cleansed. Yeah. And just like nice to touch. Look at the mirror, show them, show them. Oh. Want to know. Just like want nice to, know. to touch. Yeah. Feels hydrated. Okay. And it feels good. Moist. Yeah. I feel good. it feels, can I just tell you, I think it feels even in colour, which is good for you, because mm -hmm. you can sometimes have go. redder yeah. in certain areas, and I feel there's an evenness now of tone, which is really great. It feels nice. Yeah, it's really good. And it's not drying too, you know, oily or serum -y. Yeah. It's not left a horrible residue. Good. It's good. Would you use it again? Yes. What would you give it out of ten? Because it's bubbles, eight. You like the fun. bubbles? Yeah. yeah, they were fun. Okay, really? great. Thank you, darling. <laughs> All right. Uh, Chloe! Chloe! Okay, all right, darling. So, you, I have the caviar. You have the caviar, of course she does, because that's I have the caviar, really. <laughs> all right, but darling, let's discuss your skin because your skin is quite interesting skin too. Mm -hmm. Because how did you describe to me earlier your skin? So before I, I said uh, my things about it, before <laughs> okay. that, how you? I said it's quite can become quite red. It's quite sensitive. I have milia. Yeah. And it's tired at the moment. And after eating and drinking over the weekend for a wedding party, it's it feels really distressed. Okay. So I needed something to perk it up and yeah. hydrate it. Hydrate it, exactly. Because you said you felt dehydrated. And, yeah. and we always discuss on, on the show that dehydration is generally a lack of water and dryness. You know, it's kind of, they're two different things. But I think you were just feeling alcohol does dehydrate you. And I presume you had a bit of a tipple at the weekend. Yes, yeah, so, you presume so, well. So, 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 Wedding okay. parties in Italy, of course. Wedding. So what does it claim to do? We love the claims <laughs> of products. Um, so, oh, it's going to antioxidants, amino acids, hydrate, nourish and revitalize. CQ10, which is something we always love in any product, and also to take, I'm going to get on the vitamins in a minute, is an interesting one. So, should we be ready to take it off? And also, can I just say, I think it's just going to say pat in at the end, do not rinse. And, and this yeah. has caviar and uh, hazel, witch hazel. Yeah. When they say the word caviar, darling, they're just talking about, you know, it's, it's not actual... It's not actually row of a caviar, I don't think. Oh, sure. I think it's a, a, a medical description. Yeah. Uh, I mean, a, a, a cosmetic description. So um, should they tap? No, tap, tap, tap. Put the excess. I would tap for you. Mm -hmm. I'm tap like a... You see, I feel like a, um, a facialist with these <laughs> gloves. Oh, it's really... I could get into this. Oh, so the mask was really wet. So it was really full of... Uh, nutrients. Big, nutrients. Yeah, and then put the excess on your neck. Yeah. There. You have a little... I didn't realise you had a little tattoo, tattoo oh there. My God, I was oh, thinking. you were 18. Okay, oh darling. So let me look at you, because I saw Chloe before, and you didn't, ladies. So I'd say... Glowing definitely, like a really nice glow, but not the glow you have, darling, from when you're feeling sweaty. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because yeah. you you perspire and you can get you can get oily, mm -hmm. and this is a different glow because I'm seeing a really nice glow on your cheekbone. It hasn't affected conversely your milia. You so need a fucking good facial. I I'm do. just looking here, darling. I do close I'm up I'm a little there, but when dealing with this milia, I think we're gonna do. A lot of you talk about milia, and I think we'll... And for those of you who don't know what it is, it's these little white spots here. But everyone has different ways they can deal with it, and I definitely think that good exfoliation is a key part of dealing with it. And funnily enough, doing the, the micro-needling, Suzanne, thank you, the, they will love the big hello, um, mm -hmm. is going to help. But I'd say you, you really look great, actually. <laughs> I think it's a nice mask. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Look close. You look in there close. Yes, I have a bee vein in there. <laughs> Yeah, oh my God. Mm. it is it's, nice. Yeah. Okay, what would you give it out of ten? Mm. Seven as well. Seven. Like okay, well, well, Federico, seven and and um, 
And Fleur gave eight. Yeah. Yeah. Seven. No more than seven. No more than seven. Oh, she's a tough nut to crack. <laughs> okay. Well. Yeah. Um, thank you, darling, Bye. very much. And Chloe's going to go back so she can read your questions. Yeah. I'm going to take my glass off. I'm going to tell you what I used, which was the gold mask. They're all about the same price, ladies. So, um, the gold mask. It sort of says it's going to hydrate you, and um, you know, in this company, which is called. I'm gonna, Skin Republic. I bought it online, I got a whole load of them from Amazon. And I really wanted to get something that was um, as good as, hopefully, the Dr. Jart and all these Korean masks. Not the dry sheet masks necessarily, like the Tilbury one and Nanette de Gas, but something where you feel there's an obvious serum. And I just felt coming back from holiday, lots of people, they, they might need this for their skin. So I put that on my face, and then I put one for my hands, and I also have one for my feet. Um, I, and I've got one for my decollete, okay, so we got them all. So just, I'm going to start with the hand one actually, because I need to feel for my face in the order. And what time is best to do the mask? What time is best? You know what, it's when you've got a bit of time. I always think masks, I mean, I have so many masks, and I love masks, and I try them because it's, you know, I have many times in my life where I need that instant fix, but there are very good masks that I rate, overnight masks. There's the BB sleeping mask from Emporium. There is the voicemail mask from Niod, um, and there's quite a few intense products which call themselves an overnight mask, and there's quite a few exfoliating overnight mask treatments which we can talk about another time. But these kind of masks, I think of that moment when you look in the mirror and you think, oh, I got dark circles, or oh, my skin looks dry, or oh, you know, I have no glow, um, or oh, I've got a big hangover, or it's a Monday night and I'm not going out and um, I just want to pamper myself. So. I did that slightly tonight because I'm going to spend the night with Delilah because she goes back to school tomorrow, so we're going to be cosy. So I've got to only do this half an hour because then I'm going to go and spend the evening with her. I've got to say my hands, I have this hand one on, which is hand repair. Um, and I'm thinking, has it done anything more than when I just exfoliate or use a hand cream? There's a certain stickiness to my palms which I don't particularly like, so I'm just going to take that off on a flannel. Let me just Can see. Can you recommend a mask for hormonal acne, Jeannie? Well, I'd say if you've got hormonal breakouts, then really it's going to, a mask is going to be the last point of help because that's going to be when the spots have worked themselves to a place where then you want to do topical treatments to help it. But I think hormonal acne has got there's so much more you can do for hormonal acne, which is to do with the balance of your hormones and taking a balance of hormones. Um, and seeing if you're lacking certain hormones or if you've got too much testosterone, that's what gives me spots sometimes. So it's it's trying to look at the root cause. Uh, once you've got it, I had a throbber on my chin last week. I mean, really a throbber. It's the kind of thing that gave me an added profile moment. And I actually was getting my Botox done last week with Dr. Seabag and he said, let me deal with that for you. I don't know what, I don't know what he did actually, but I think he just took a little... Um, tiny very thin needle and pricked it because I said oh don't prick it and he went no because there's a system of pricking which is very much release the um release the uh pressure if it's ready and if you can see a bit of something put a needle in very fine and just press don't squeeze don't push press and whatever meant to come out will come out okay that's but so hormones well, I haven't given you the total answer but I would sort of say there's all aspects look at it all right the gold mask I'm taking off now Feel I've had on. This one, the irritating thing about this one is it said keep it on for 30 to 40 minutes. And I thought that's quite a long time, 30 to 40 minutes. You know, I kind of, I, I, for me, the, t the top time for a mask is probably 20 minutes. But anyway, I did 30 to 40 minutes today, if not longer, actually. And I do like this mask. Is it as good as the Dr. Jard? It's definitely not as good as the Nanette de Gas because that one just gave me this incredible hydration. Um, but it's nice. I feel my skin is feels firm, actually. Doesn't necessarily, does it feel plumped? Have the lines minimized a bit? No, it's more firm. Interesting. Would I use it again? Yes, I would. What would I give it out of 10? Probably seven. Then they had a mask. I just got to go through these because I think they're a bit mad. A neck and decollete mask, all right? Now... A part of me thinks, really? Are you just trying to think of another category for a mask? 
do we really want a neckle decollete mask? But many of you ladies ask me about your neck. So I tried that one too. I've got it on here. It was very irritating because I kind of felt I had to walk around like that or be lying in bed. And also decollete, whose decollete ends there? I mean, decolletes end down there, but this one was for a very, very short person. So I'll take that off. Relief, actually, I felt slightly strangled. There's a certain film when I touch my skin now. Um, kind of weird. Like, actually, like a roughness to it, but it could be the exfoliator I put on before, I'm not sure. Has it made any difference to my neck? You know what? I wouldn't waste your money, actually, uh, on that one. I don't rate that one at all. Um, I would rate needling or something for your neck. So that's not one good for me. The other one I've got on is on my feet, which you can see, actually, I'll just show you. It feels very odd. It feels like I'm painting my house. Can you see if I can show that? There, I've got this thing on here. It's like a plastic bag. It's like you bought some meat at the butcher's and he's tied it up so it won't spill. And, um, and I walk around, it's like I've got water in my feet. So we'll see. So anyway, that's the mask, ladies. Now, I want to go on to two things. Any questions, Chloe? Yes, yes sorry. The ladies are asking if there are masks for blackheads on the nose. Well, can I just say, when you have blackheads on the nose, don't use those poor strips. Because things that you attach, like a piece of sellotape to your nose, and pull off, hoping to just pull off the blackhead, is absolute crap and it won't happen. So you've got to actually not use those kind of masks. That's in my opinion, um, that I wouldn't do that. And my daughter the other day bought one and I was like, ah, get rid of it. So I'd say exfoliation and when you're, if you're in your teens, you've got to kind of exfoliate, keep your skin clean, you know, occasionally try and do some kind of steaming to open up the pores and get out the blackheads. Use, you know, this, to me, you got blackheads, you use this kind of cleanser. Get into that area. What I love about the Foreo, and it's one of my favorite tools, is that this is vibrating intensely. And when you go over your nose, it's just gonna vibrate and loosen your blackhead. Don't strip it and strip off your nose. So that, that's my feeling on a blackhead moment. Um, all right, so this weekend, I had such a kind of, a difficult moment because I I felt let's just talk bodily fluids at the moment I kind of felt really like my tummy was very um, bloated and then I took something to help me go to the loo and then I was just anyway it was just I had a very uncomfortable weekend and I feel that it's probably I've been eating too much sugar again but I thought okay what am I really gonna do about this because this, today I had quite a full day and I was very tired all day and I came back here and I remembered that I bought when I was last at Niod um, Desiem company I bought some vitamins now they have uh, Desiem which is the brand that many of us love because they make the ordinary this Toronto based company make four or five brands they have hand chemistry they have the ordinary um, which is their kind of least expensive range for ingredients and they have um, uh, they have uh, Niod and they have the one in between which I've forgotten now Chloe the one in between my head is going um, but the um, other brand they have is Fountain and Fountain is a kind of vitamin brand and I've all over, the, you know, many years, I've seen a nutritionist here or there, or I've seen kind of, you know, that person who wants to clean your whole body and then they talk to you about things. So I've had incremental little bits of everything thrown at me over the years about what's good for me to eat, what isn't, what I might be allergic to, um, what I should avoid. And I spend half my life trying to remember it in the back of my head and half my life being drawn to that feast ice cream. But recently I have had two feast ice creams a day for about the last three weeks. And I think that kind of, I think it's just built up. But I thought today, let me please start again and try and feel good for the autumn because we woke up this morning in London and the weather was not great. And I was thinking, I need to feel healthy. Everything is happening for the 22nd of October. That's our D-Day. So I really need every single day to feel full of energy and great. So anyway. So Trini, Charlotte is saying, uh, try linseed added to cereal or yogurt. It will you see, and that's, that's so sweet you say that. And I have linseeds there in a jar at home. Do they get into my mouth? But I, I will consider it. And I am going to revisit, but thank you, all the things that people have suggested. But 
I'm also going to be doing the following. So you all know I have this obsession with Julia Hunter, who's this American dermatologist, but she's also a little bit of a hormone specialist. And she's just fabulous. And she has this old fashioned shitty side, excuse me, but it's, it, you can tell by the information that she really knows her stuff. And I buy a lot of my skincare, my, my peel, my Retin-A, the ones I really go back to day and day and day are her cleanser and the different products. And I will do, again, a whole Julia Hunter special but she does a lot of vitamins and there were two or three that I was taking a few months ago and I noticed the difference. So I'm gonna tell you what they are now. Because as we get, any age is good with this, but if you suffer from inflammation of any type, so I kind of can have quite heavy feet during the summer. I always talk about heavy legs and some of you say, what, is, what are heavy legs? But those who have heavy, heavy legs know. And I feel because you, anyone who eats sugar, by definition, <coughs> has inflammation. So I was taking turmeric quite a lot because I, I, I'll never do half measures. And turmeric, because it's dealing with your um, inflammation, I felt also weirdly dried out my skin a bit. And I know that's the case because many, many years ago, when I had my very bad acne and I was on my 15th dermatologist, I went to see an Ayurvedic doctor and he said, <coughs> I want you to take this powder, grind it up at night in a pestle, and put it on your skin and it was turmeric powder. It was orange and red turmeric powder. I mixed them together and I put it on and it drew out my um, impurities, <sighs> mental and physical. It drew out my impurities. So I was always in the back of my head, knew turmeric was good in that way, but it was drying out. So anyway, cut a long story short, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, bio, Curcumin. Curcumin is a form of turmeric. And Julia Hunter, this is probably back to front, but I'm just gonna tell you anyway, um, uses this for inflammation um, around the gut area. And I'm going to go back to using it again because I did feel the difference. And the other product I loved, I mean, she's got like so many things and you, you can get really drawn and think, I need that, I need that, I need that. But I think everything needs to be tried for a while and not too many together, was Galt Fortifier and Galt Fortifier is for your small intestine. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a specialist in anything, I'm only telling you this for me and what I'm going to be doing for me right now, which is I feel I need to strengthen my gut. So I'm going to do that by following the lovely Chef Shine who came in here, you can look back on the blog. She gave us fantastic information, didn't she Chloe? Yes, about and one of the ladies suggesting kombucha, which is one of the- And kombucha, which we now have in the fridge. Yes which is this fermentation stuff, which was very popular many years ago and now is popular again. That is in the fridge for all of us to take every day. So I'm trying a mixture of things. All right, that's that. I'm gonna go on something totally different now. Questions, Chloe? Uh, they're just giving you uh, all sorts of advice. Apple cider vinegar. I know, vinegar. cider vinegar. I'm gonna try it again, the cider vinegar every day, because I had lunch today with a girlfriend and she's doing the cider vinegar two tablespoons a day, so I'm gonna do that. Thank you so much, because you know what? So much of what I tell you about is what you've told me, so it's great. Um, I'm going to go now to Beauty Pie. Now, Beauty Pie is a company set up by, and I'm going to get her name wrong, it's not Marjorie Kilgore, it sounds like it, it could be, but she started Bliss, and Bliss was this lovely company years ago. I remember going for oxygen facials at Bliss in New York. Anyway, she was this kind of, I think she started off, and if I'm wrong, I really apologise, but I think she started off as a, a skincare guru and a facialist, because I had a facial with her at Bliss in 57th Street. So that is correct. And then she had one downtown. And she sort of always knew about skincare. Anyway, she, I think, sold Bliss, but she started Beauty Pie, and Beauty Pie, I never got my head around. It's been going a while, and the philosophy's a bit weird, but I have a product that I was trying, which is the Fruit Five Minute Facial Fruit Enzyme. And you know I love to do, before I do a mask, I love to do an enzyme peel. And I've got so many. The one I was trying recently, the Juice one, purely organic, one of the best enzyme peels I've tried. Um, Julia Hunter has a good enzyme peel. Cosmeceuticals, um, no, Cosmetics. Very good enzyme peel. Uh, but this Beauty Pie company was interesting because I, um, tried it and I really thought this is great. The ingredients are great and I had thought to myself it's a cheap company. I don't know why I thought that but the because I did a I know I did a lip glow um, on Instagram a few weeks ago and it was a really good price so I then looked and on the site it went oh it's 
five pounds. No, so I said, Fleur, find out how much it is. And she went, it's 50 pounds because they sent it to me. Um, and then the price also said 5.95. And I thought, ugh. Anyway, the bottom line is this. They do some kind of system where you do a monthly buy-in and you get sent products. It's not glossy box. It's none of that. But all I want to say, I don't care about how it works. If you're a part of this thing, it will cost you 5.95. And if you're not, it costs you 50 pounds. Sounds weird, but the product's good. And I felt a nice tingling on my face. I can't remember. Um, it's got bamboo powder inside it, which another one of my exfoliators has as well. And it works quite well, bamboo powder. It's got pomegranate, which it uses. Funny enough, Purezyme from Cosmetics uses also pomegranate as its enzyme cleaning product. And they use the same one too. And it's got in it quartz, which is just micro buffing your skin. It's really, really good. What I haven't tried, I'm gonna try here and now, because this is another product they sent me and I just to try that enough to think it's really good, is a serum, um, which is, uh, I think what I loved about it, I think how it described itself is, um, bloody difficult to open, hold on, is if you're tired. You know those anti-fatigue serums and you go, give it to me now! So, um, I don't know what's in it. It's got that, I have to say, it has that smell of it could be anything. You know that kind of, you go into M&S and you try M&S's range and then you go on to Nukes's range or someone else and you kind of get this overriding smell, which is something I weirdly, people decide to do this generalistic fragrancing in beauty products sometimes. And it's something that, you know, I think Beautify has no parabens or anything, but it's still, I don't know. It's just a smell I, I, I associate with, with mass market products. Um, so but. I'm actually saying DCL is fab too. DCL. DC, for what? Uh, I don't know. Well, DCL, I spoke about last week, darling, about the vitamin C booster, which is different. It's a, uh, well, DCL actually have three serums um, and they do have a high potency vitamin C and then they have one which gives you extra intense moisture. Um, so, you know, I've got something that's made me exfoliate down here quite badly. I think that mask I just used is making my skin rub off. You know, just flake off, not rub off, not burn off. But um, do I like that serum? Yes. Has it made my skin plumpy? It's nice. I'm going to use it for a week or two and come back to you and let you know. But last but not least, because the sun is going, is I've got to do my makeup just briefly now because I want to show you something. So what can I do my makeup with? Any questions, darling, whilst I'm trying? So they were interested in knowing what's the difference between Beauty Pie and Glossy Box. Um, Big difference. Big difference between Beauty Pie and Glossy Box is that Glossy Box sends you every month lots of different products to try and it's a way to try lots of products. You know, I do get it and I kind of, maybe there's one product a month I really love and others I might fall upon. And that's somehow, sometimes how I then go and uh, buy some products to try. But this is very different because what they're doing is I think they're sourcing from many different manufacturers um, products, but they're putting no label on them. But yet the label is Beauty Pie. So it's, that's what it is. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do something I don't do often which is use the foundation, and I'm gonna use Becca's foundation, but I just wanna show you something because I'm gonna do a quick little makeup here. Many of you have asked me recently about products for oily skin or blurring or fine lines, and I wanted to show you some blurring products that I love. And so I just, I'm doing as if I'm doing a quick little makeup routine like that. Put a bit of blush on, I'm going to use, what am I using today, I'm using Pixi. Um, cream base because you know me I love a cream base one there. like that a little bit of blusher and then I'll use any questions darling I love your robe, but what is it? my robe is from Zara home oh my handbag Chloe Ooh. I want to show my handbag darling will you get both of them yeah, sure. I found, and also my things in it because then I can just show it yeah. all right so where was I yes where was I something honestly blurring products so I'm a bit shiny a bit shiny and I want to show you for different potential shininess. You okay, here are my secret seven blurring products. Now, blurring. Oh my god, did I finish talking about Fountainhead? Fuck, oh I'm all over the shop. So, I'm so sorry. I'm going to finish off here. Other vitamins I'm taking. Fountain, I never talk to you more about. 
This one I love. Now I am drawn, when it comes to vitamins, I'm drawn by what it says. So fountain, um, please, not in French. Um, the energy molecule, diet supplement sweetener. It's high dose B12. Now I used to take B12 in France in a little color. It was exactly this color actually. So it's saying take a tablespoon um, and then you mix it with water and you drink it. So I do feel that vitamins are very, they're far more concentrated if you drink them and they're liquid. Or it doesn't taste bad at all. Actually, I can taste slightly the sweetener. They have other ones and I'm gonna try them all over the next month and come back to you, but I love the, what these are. So this one is called the Happy Molecule, okay? I don't know if it's for those of us who wake up on a Monday feeling, fuck, I feel a bit blah, but, What's in it that would make you happy? So there's GABA in it. Now GABA, I'm gonna read this to you, but it's something that is an integral part of body function, so it brings it back to you. And it's got curcumin, curcumin in it. How weird that it's got curcumin in it, which is the derivative of turmeric. Why it's in there, I don't know. Hyaluronic acid. So a, a part of it is making you happy about your skin. It's taking down inflammation. It's giving you a bit of um, plumping. Interesting. Interesting. All right, then we have the Geek Molecule, also hilarious, and this is for Geeksum. Okay, <laughs> I like Geeksum because days when you wake up, you think, Oh my god, am I really forgetting everything? Or what you know, just I think it's stress. And if we have too much going on inside our head, I always know that I don't remember everything because I'm my brain is full of too many lists. But in the green one, I'm gonna tell you what's in the Geek one zinc. Um, so we know that zinc is good. Funny enough, weirdly, zinc is good for actually if you have acne. It's very good to take zinc. But zinc also probably good for that. Um, go to Keola, which is a rejuvenative nervine recommend to support cognitive function. Basically brain food and hyaluronic acid. So hyaluronic acid in all of them because it wants to hydrate your skin so you can feel intelligent and plump. All right. And then we're going on to... The super green monocle. So for days when you don't have all your greens, can you take your greens? It's basically a liquid form of, um, I think it's got spirulina in it, hasn't it? Chlorophyll, kelp, kelp, God, kelp is the worst reburping, regurgitating product that was ever invented. Actually, kale is worse, kale is worse. So there you have it, little vitamin moment. I will now go back briefly, because we're running out of time and I've got to go and see Lila, um, is some blurring products. So. These are my secret seven in no particular order. So we all know that, and I don't even have the lid of it anymore, so trust me when I say this is by Murad, because it looks like some really dodgy thing. But this is the, I think it's Invisible Blurring Shield, thank you, oh, SPF 30. And it's kind of like a gel, and you can use it, and it sort of blurs fine lines, and it would take off a little, I can do it just in this part of my, face it would take off a little bit of the shine and it blurs and a lovely woman who runs um, a very who knows a lot about beauty and she said to me Murad it's such a good company and it's undervalued and the products are cheap for what they are and I kind of it made me so drawn to that company but anyway it's a very good product it's three things in one really like that second up which is something that lots of women who um, use this already we say oh I know that product but for those of you who don't um, Clarence who has never has a guest appearance on my show hardly um, has a really great product for um, for uh, when you kind of want to cover your pores and you have enlarged pores and you want to mattify yourself and they call it uh, instant smooth perfecting touch now like most of these products it looks sort of powdery and it's sort of spongy is the only way I can describe it but what you can do is put it where you might have enlarged pores, just like in the corner of your nose, and it will slightly mattify, and it sort of blurs those pores. And for those of you who do wear quite a lot of foundation and feel your T-zone is quite shiny, it's a really great product, and many, many girls with oily skin I know who use it and love it. And I was reminded of it when I went with um, Lila to Sephora in Paris, 
and um, so that's that one. Dr. Feel Good from Benefit is for those of you who don't like using powder, and I don't like using powder very much, but I don't necessarily want to be too shiny. And I've used this for about 15 years, and it's got, it's a little bit waxy, but it has a sponge, and I think the hardest thing about sponges is it's a breeding ground for bacteria. So you can see how dirty that sponge is, and I've shoved it in there. So in terms of hygiene, I don't rate that technique, but in terms of what it does, you'll see here, sorry, I've just got, it says calendar ED today at night. So you just press it on and it just takes away the shine. Uh, Dr. Feelgood Benefit, let me show you that one. Okay, thank you, darling. We'll put that on our list. Then we have a new contender here. It's a company I sort of, I do like. It has had one or two good products I rate and and it's a company of very few products. And I think when somebody's putting all their energy into very few things, they're really, really making sure that they sort of, it's like they're giving birth to little babies and they want to make them perfect before they go on to the next. And that's the Hero Project, a very nice little company. And this is their called, it's called their Double Blur, HD Ready. Everyone's thinking of all those people who take a selfie who want that immaculate skin. But this, you can put it on before or after, you know, it's, much of a muchness and these products have a lot of similar ingredients but you just kind of put it on and it will take away your shine it has a different consistency it's slightly stickier but the idea is it should just slightly blur any fine lines and wrinkles but i've used it and i like it and i rate it they love the hero project too yeah it's a it's a good company i feel it has a really good efficacy about it um, we can go the other end of the scale and we can go mass market here. I must have tried 20 products in Boots to find two that I like that I think work for Shine and um, some of them have colour and some don't. The one that has colour, this L'Oreal BB, they only have two or three shades which I think is not great because they don't definitely span every skin uh, shade but there it is like that and it comes out like a worm do you see and you put it on I'm just going to put it on this side you can see there's a little bit of color but it's definitely got that waxiness to it and a bit of stickiness but you put it on and anyone who has a really bad shine it's going to take it away so younger oilier skin on a budget I think that's a great product um, then I've got this Bobby Brown, we love Bobby Brown, and this is called, she calls it her Instant Confidence Stick. I used this actually because I was looking for something as a lip and line filler um, because I have lines um, here from her, you know, from I think it's jeans, but it's also a bit of smoking. Uh, so I put it on around my lip, and also here I used to pick a lot of my spots 20 years ago, and there's scarring there, so I just literally filling it in like a cement mixer. But it's quite good, because I'm going to then put on, let me just put on for you, um, a Bobbi Brown lip. This is a very nice lip color, quite dark, and I like it. And I feel I'm not having anything seep out. So for the lip area, it gives confidence. There you go. Uh, 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 uh. So, hmm. Yes, I think it's good. Did I have one more? I have one more. Yeah, I've got NYX, which also does this for the light. I'll, I'll show you actually now, because this is called, they call it something quite different, NYX. Um, they call it the, um, it's more of a base. It's a lip primer. So I should have done it before I did the um, Bobbi Brown. But you could also go here and just clean under your thing. And it sort of has, does it have wax in it? It has its texture is more than a pencil and it's got a few different nude colors so it's an interesting blender to make your skin um, smooth looking now one of the original companies that did these kind of blurring products at the beginning of the era of the selfie was nano blur and it was I think indeed labs first product um, and I remember when I first used it and I didn't realize you put it on over your makeup I, I'm going to take this off now. And I thought to myself, mm, I'm just not sure about that product. It's really sticky and weird. By the way, my hair is... My hair is... I'm going on this morning, tomorrow morning, and I'm thinking, hmm, is it still working? Let me just do a bit of that. I might have to put some dry shampoo in. Anyway, Nano Blur is like that. Goes on, and you... I, I would say you put it on 
over product because I put it on under and my foundation did not go on top of it well. So you might just do general under the eye, anywhere you want to blur. It's slightly mattifying, it's a little bit sticky to apply, but it does sort of work. There's something about it that works. So that's it. Have I done them all, Chloe? I think I have. The light is going, so I have to go. I hope that's been interesting. I do want to ask you, ladies, because there are many women in um, Australia, and we usually do a morning um, Monday musings for, and when we do this time of day, they can't partake. But then you ladies in America can. So I would love to know how many of you in the States have been watching. And, um, we, you know, Chloe, we were thinking to do sometimes in the morning, sometimes in the evening. And finding the time of day for different parts of the world is quite tricky. So anyway, all thoughts welcome. Oh, my God, I'm with my bags. Oh, my buys of the day. I'm sorry, these are so good. I spent forever... I've spent forever obsessing about a bag from Fendi, which I'll never, ever, ever, ever spend money on because it was like a fortune and I'd never go there. But the size, it was that perfect size bag that would fit my laptop and everything, but it wouldn't make me feel I was carrying a sack. Then I'm in Zara this weekend and I see these two bags. All right, that one and that one, they're the same. That's 29, but this baby is 15. But what is amazing about it is that it fits, I love it, so it's just like, I wish it was an expensive leather because it's just so perfectly designed for me. So I can fit my laptop in there and then I can fit my makeup in there and my, my wallet and stuff. Security wise, it just has a central thing, which is, you know, I did go down Ox Street today with my, my, with my daughter and I thought, do I need to feel it under my arm? But the size was so brilliant, it was just, perfect perfect size and it didn't have a branding on it there was no kind of Michael Kors Louis Vuitton Zara it was just nothing and I think how you wear a bag denotes what kind of price point it is what you wear it with etc anyway those are just my two little buys today I have bought a lot of things recently and not to keep I'm going to do with Chloe we'll do it on Thursday Chloe yeah. Because there's a few stores I've gone to and they've kind of asked me to stop filming. So we haven't been even able to show you the film. And what we want to do is show you the stuff that I bought from there that I think is great. And then I'm going to probably send it back and get some more because I've way, way overspent in order to try and bring you some things that I like. We're not a magazine, so we can't call in clothes. And um, that's not how we work. Thank you for watching. Yeah, we should you a lovely evening with Lila. And you too. Thank you so much. And um, I know it's my last night with her before she goes to boarding school tomorrow. So I'm going to rush off and, and be with her. But anyway, bye ladies.